Madame has lost her dress. Oh, Madame has lost her dress. I don't know what happened. Madame lost her dress. Whoops, and stepping from the car, a dress court. I only wish that I were Madame's escort. Madame has lost her dress. Madame has lost her dress. Her breast to niece that all work cease. Madame has lost her dress. Madame has lost her dress. Madame has lost her dress. Radio to transatlantic shipping. Let London know that things are simply ready. It isn't what we're shouting for. Madame, Madame has lost her dress. Madame has lost her dress. Madame has lost her dress. For what was he? Excuse it, please. Madame, Madame has lost her dress. Madame has lost her dress. Gerald, aren't you going to do anything? Here? No, no, I mean about discharging your chauffeur. Oh. Oh, let me keep him. I I've let you keep your husband. I haven't kept him. What? He left this morning. For good? No, no, for the Olympic Games at Los Angeles. Oh. He's in them, you know. Oh. Haven't you ever heard of Steve Matheson, the javelin thrower? Javelin thrower? Uh-huh. Do you mean those long, murderous harpoon things? Clear the moment you meet a man. Right after you said, how do you do, you should add, my husband throws javelins. Tell me some more of his bad habits. Well, he sings at annoying times and places. He even sings in bed. Uh, so I have an uncle who does that. Sings in bed? No, so is javelin. In bed? No, he throws it. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Gerald. Yeah. Tonight my husband's away out on the Atlantic. And we're... I've got a surprise for you. Oh, another? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow you're taking me away. Oh, am I? Where? Venice. Venice? Uh-huh. D do you think that'll be safe? I hope not. <laughs> I don't believe you want to go. Oh, Claire, of course I'm... And only this evening you were complaining you'd known me this long and nothing had happened. Well, that was B.J. B.J.? Before Javelins. Oh. What about tickets? I've ordered them. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, make up your mind. Do we go to Venice or don't we? You know, I, I can't help wishing that you, that you weren't married. Well, you don't have to go, you know. Well, uh, uh, Oh. Oh, Also a pencil. I believe I can accommodate you. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Keep it, please. <laughs> I'll. <coughs> I will.
For my wife? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm west of the American Express. Where's that? Where's what? West of the American Express. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, that's my name. Bunny West of the American Express. Oh, you'll pardon me, won't you? <laughs> yes, yes, certainly. What's this? Uh, those are train tickets. For my wife? Uh, yes, yes. I brought them over personally. I'm a friend of hers. Oh, really? Well, you see, I know so few of my wife's friends. I'm away so much. At track meets. Oh, well, then, if she isn't here, I can call back another time. I won't bother oh, you no, with those no, tickets. No, not at all. Well, so she got lonely without me and planned a little trip. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Are these paid for? Uh, no, they're not. Uh, so perhaps I'd better... Oh, no, no. come right in. I'll make you out a check. Well, I... I no you trouble are. at all. Come on in. <laughs> Uh, we really, we, uh, we really don't need the money. Oh, I realize that, but you see, I, I always like to pay my debts on time. <clears throat> my wife will certainly be surprised that I'm home. <laughs> yes, she certainly will. <clears throat> uh, yes, you see, I, I sailed for America, but when I reached England, I... Oh, my goodness, that'll have to be fixed. But uh, when I reached England, I missed her so terribly, I flew right back. Oh, wasn't that nice? <laughs> My, my, don't you use large golf sticks? Oh, no, those are javelins. Those are what? Javelins. You, uh, you know how to use them? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. You run with them and then you hop up over a stick. Isn't that right? <laughs> no, no, they're thrown like a spear. Oh, a spear. That's oh, right. I didn't, I, ow, <laughs> sharp, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> didn't you ever go in for athletics? I used to jump at conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, let's go into the study. I say, would you mind carrying that bag? Uh, no, no. Uh, if you let me have those tickets, I can bring them back tomorrow when your wife is in. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, But no, uh, perhaps no. she won't even want them now that you're home. Me, 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 me. Why, the servants have left all the lights on. Yes, that's what they have. Well, I won't be a moment. I'll slip into something else. And you make yourself comfortable. yours? No, no. Why, Steve? Where's your dress? Dress? Oh, why, I threw it away. It was all in strips. What? What happened? It was pulled off me in the car. Oh, darling, I want you to meet Mr. Gerald Gray, a very old friend. I've spoken of him often, remember? No. Oh, of course. He, uh... Did he? Was he the one who... No, no, no. It was his chauffeur. His chauffeur? Yes. Uh, you see, uh, I got my dress caught in the door of the car, and uh, the chauffeur closed the door too soon. It was just an accident. Accident? Bunny, have you got a cigarette? Uh, oh. Well? I don't want to interrupt your train of thought, but when you throw that, this, do you go in for accuracy or distance? Both. Both. Let me get a good look at you. Do you want me to turn for you? Suppose I started ripping your clothes off. Oh, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Oh, by the way, he brought some railroad tickets for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, did he? Yes, yes. Apparently you were planning a little trip. Had you forgotten? No, no. I, uh... I say, would you mind holding that for a moment? Pleasure, yes. Oh, oh. Can I open that? Can I help? Uh, no, no thanks. Where were you going, anyway? Well, uh... I was going... Well, Venice. Yes. Two compartments. One for a gentleman. Very interesting. Mr. West, did she order these? I did. You did? Yes, I did. Didn't I? Why, of course he did. <laughs> oh, and have I balled things up. <laughs> Do you know what I did? <laughs> I delivered Gerald's two tickets over here, and I must have sent Claire's one ticket over to Gerald's. <laughs> it wasn't <that> silly. <laughs> it must be at your place now, Gerald. I sent it special delivery. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is all this? Well, it's simple, simple. Those two tickets are for Gerald and his wife. His wife? Uh, yes, my, my wife. Oh, and is she gorgeous. Gerald is simply crazy about her, isn't that right, Gerald? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my. Really, when she walks down the street, her torso almost talks. <laughs> you don't know her, do you, Claire? Oh, no. Only from what I've heard you men say. Uh, but, of course, I'd hope to see a lot of her in Venice. Hmm, she sounds very interesting. I'd like to see her. Yeah, but, but Gerald, Gerald, don't you think you'd better run along home? She may have sent some word about arriving. Oh, uh, she isn't here. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, uh, she's away visiting her, uh, uh, um, her, her mother. Her aunt. Um, her aunt. Her uh, mother. Uh, uh. Both her aunt and her mother. Uh, they're sisters. Yes, I see. <laughs> Well, I guess everything's quite clear now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be bouncing along. Uh, I'll send that ticket over to you in the morning, Claire. Add one for me. Oh, oh, you're going too, eh? Oh, yes, yes. Now that I'm home, Claire wouldn't think of going to Venice without me, would you, dear? No, darling. Oh, Bunny, won't you come along? Oh, no, no, no. I, I think right now Venice would be just a little warm. <clears throat> well, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Gorgeous girl. Wife. <laughs> what bright ideas you do have. Yes, don't I? Yes, I'm working on an idea of my own now. Yeah? Yes, I'm going to tear you down and put up an office building where you now stand. <laughs> oh, I mean it. I don't know how I keep my hands off your hat. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You take out another man's wife and tear her clothes off on the way to the theater. Now, really, old man, I've heard of doing that coming home from the theater, but... It was an accident. You're becoming a regular Jack the Ripper. You... Will you stop or... And how am I going to find a wife with a talking torso by tomorrow afternoon? Well, I don't know. I've got a secretary with a creaking knee. Ah. And if I don't find her, Steve's apt to pierce me with one of his javelins. Yes. Yes. No, no, I mean you. <laughs> well, you pick up one somewhere. You thought of her and you will find her. Uh... Wouldn't you like this big one? What are you doing on this bed? Uh, I'm waiting for a director. What? Oh, I, I fell asleep. An well, actress, eh? Yes, sir. Well, you know this is a prop, likely to be used at any minute. I'm sorry. I've been up since early this morning. On your way. This man will pay 2,000 francs a week and all living expenses and new clothes. But I don't want to go to Venice. You'd pass up a job like this? 
2,000 francs a week and all expenses? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I'm just a young girl living by her hips. You'll take it. Man's waiting outside this stage. Talk to him as soon as you get your clothes on. That's orders. But I can't go to Venice. Not for 2,000 francs a week? No. I go to Siberia for less. My boyfriend's a prize fighter. And if he caught me vacationing in Venice with a strange man, I'd get the slapping down of the century. Oh. If you're looking for a job, why don't you take it? I'd love to. Come in here. Come with me, will you? Now, Sparks, Mr. Gray in? Yes, sir. Oh, fine, fine. Oh, Monsieur Lyon, c'est formidable, sir. Uh, yes, yes, certainly. They're putting in another bathroom. Come right in now, make yourself perfectly at home. The, uh, there you are. You park yourself there for a moment. I... Hey, 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 hey. I'll see if Miss... Mind stopping the woodpecker impersonation for a minute? Holy smoke! What's the idea? She'll never do. You, what do you mean? Why, just, why, why do you say that? Because I tell you, what's the matter? Why, 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 why do you ask me to get some Why do you, 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 you say she'll never do one? I want to tell her, don't you see? Well, all right, all right. You wait, I'll show you. Well, I certainly fixed that. Uh, wouldn't you, uh, get her up? How about putting the feet up? Oh, no, thank you. No? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just testing the reflexes. <clears throat> my, 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 what is that? What's what? Well, what is that? Chewing gum on your shoe there? Where? Well, right there. <clears throat> there's chewing gum on the bottom of your shoe there. Look at that. I can see it. Well, there certainly is. Look at that. I'll, I'll leave it to if... <laughs> oh, the poor workman! Are you all right, miss? Yes, yes, it was the workman who fell. Oh, but can I get you anything? Have you any sandwich? Sandwich? I'll make one. How is the workman? Why, he, uh, uh, he passed out. Uh, he's out. Dead? No, 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 just out. But what happened? What, what made him fall? Why, uh, um, legs. Legs? Oh, too bad. <laughs> no, too good. Will you have a cigarette, Miss... Uh, no, thank you. You know, it's funny, I've forgotten your name. Chuchu. Yeah, what is it, Chuchu? No, it spells... C-H-O-U, C-H-O-U. Yeah, choo-choo. Choo-choo. Choo -choo. That's choo -choo. right, I've got to remember that. Choo-choo. Choo -choo. <laughs> That's awfully cute. Choo-choo. 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 Choo -choo. Choo -choo. <laughs> Playing trains? Choo-choo yeah. is the lady's name. Oh. Yes, it means little cabbage. Very appropriate. Yeah. Of course, I won't say anything about her knowing her onions. No, I wouldn't. Because if you did, I should have to ask you to leave the room. As it is, I think you'd better leave anyhow. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> don't do anything I'd do. <clears throat> Won't you sit down? Thank you. Well, Miss Shushu, has Mr. West made it clear to you why I require your services? Yes. You need a wife in a hurry. Exactly. A wife with a torso that talks. Does your torso talk? Pardon. That's quite. A wife who is ardent, gay, temperamental, affectionate. Oh, very affectionate. 
so affectionate that no one could possibly suspect me of looking at another man's wife. Do you think you can be that? Well, I try. Hmm. If I engage you, we shall take the Venice train tonight. We will have connecting compartments. With the door locked? With the door locked. In Venice, we'll have connecting rooms. With the door locked? Oh, and bolted. Please get that straight. Well, you think I, I unlock your door? Why, uh, uh, no. Well, now, when we are alone, you will pay no attention to me. <laughs> yes, I understand. But when anyone is around, you will be very affectionate. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> yes. Well, now you know just what to expect and just what not to expect. And if I get more than I expect, I go home. Oh, my dear girl. No one is forcing you to take this job. In fact, the more I look at you, the more I fear you are not fitted for it. Monsieur, why not? Well, your clothes, your, your clothes have no, uh, have no zip, you know. Oh, you want me to have a dress with a zipper? <laughs> no, 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 I mean they have no snap, no style, no, no chic. And your manners, your manners are too Sunday schoolish. See, I, I want someone more weekendy, more spectacular. I'm sorry, I'm afraid you just won't do. Oh, but monsieur, I must do. All that nice Italian food, I'm I... I'm so sorry, I... What's that? It's a sandwich. Well, take it away, I don't want it. Yes, but... Take it lady... away, and then come back and show this young lady out. Yes, sir. <clears throat> May I have a cigarette? Oh, surely. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll... Uh... Hey! What's your hurry, boyfriend? What's that? I said, uh, what's your hurry, boyfriend? You want someone spectacular, huh? <laughs> oh, and I think how I fool you! Shall I show the lady out, sir? Uh... Shall he? No, uh, not yet. Now, that'll be all. Yes, sir. When I came here, I thought you wanted a respectable wife. All right, now I give you what you want. Spectacular? Quite, yeah. Well, Jerry, how are you doing? Oh, uh, well, where is she? You're doing all right. Hello? Hello, Madame Tupa. I need some clothes in a hurry. Oh, hold the phone, please. Pardon me. How much clothes can I buy? Buy enough. You see, she, what happened was you that she... I know, I know. It was an accident. Yeah. She caught her clothes in the door.
You're right, sir. I only put in one pair of pajamas. Did you forget the books? Oh, I'll see, sir. All right. Gerald, darling. Oh, Claire. Uh, yes, where's your husband, dear? Oh, uh... You know, I'm sure he hasn't swallowed that wife's story. He's been too sweet to me all day. And the last time he was like that, I got a black eye. Oh, the... Bro uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what I've done? Oh, did you find a wife? Uh, yes, well, Bunny is outside watching for her now. You see, we had to let her go and do a little shopping because, well, when we found her, she hadn't any clothes. Well, I mean, clothes. Well. Uh, uh, Please! Fox! Oh, I, I'm so sorry, miss. That, uh, we have the books, sir. Uh. Gerald, I thought you were going to get rid of that man. Oh, I will, Carl. I will, really. Chocolate? No, merci. They're closing the gates. Isn't she here? Bunny, she must have... She must have taken the money and skipped. No. Why, she must have. En voiture. <laughs> I knew you'd show up, but what detained you? Where were you? Oh, I would tell you. I would tell you. I would put lots well, of things. Well, don't you know you're worried? Everybody? I've got a lot of such shoes. Oh, oh, yes. This, this is, um, uh, this is... Uh, this, <laughs> His uh, wife. Uh, my wife, yes. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Matthewson are going to Venice, too. How do you do? How do you do? Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Come, come. I said, en voiture. Oh, oh George. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, where did you and Mrs. Gray first meet? Uh, well, uh, uh, in Cincinnati. Where? Cincinnati. Oh, and uh, how long have you been married? Well, how, how long have we been? How, for five years. Five years? Yeah, oh, five years. Bunny, I'm simply mm. starved. Oh, excuse well, me. Well, there's a, there's a dining car right here. Thank you. Well, goodbye, Bunny, good. and I will miss you very much, my yeah. pet. And I'll miss you, too. Oh, goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't forget the little cabbage, my no. little rabbit. No. <laughs> Gerald, I don't like that woman. Oh, don't, don't you? Well, I think perhaps after I about... I don't six... like that woman. Oh, you don't like her. Mm -hmm. Well, well, goodbye, Bunny, old man. I'm going with you. No, you can't do that, old boy. Well, why not? There's an upper in your compartment. Yes, I know, but my man only packed one pair of pajamas. Well, see? then I'll tell you. I'll take the upper and the pajama coat, and you can have the lower with the pants. No, no, because I don't well, want you with me. Well, well, don't don't be, you be the way. Uh, dinner. Again? Yes, yes. The whole dinner? The whole dinner. Yes, sir. Well, I suppose we'll have to sit together. Yes, I suppose so. Let's see. Where was it you first met your husband? Well, I, um, I was, um, uh, I was living, uh, I was living in sin. Uh, naughty. I was naughty. And uh, how long have you been married? Oh, well, I, I've been, um, five. Uh, five months? Oh, it, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, five years. 
Ha ha, you all forgot Bunny, but Bunny never forgets. For me? Well, none other. Don't you know what day this is? No. Oh, it's your wedding anniversary. Oh, really? Really, Mr. West? And uh, how long ago were they married? Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, now, let, let me think. Um, it, it, isn't that funny? <laughs> it was, um... Um, it, uh, it was, uh, I, it, <coughs> five years. A double bed. Thank you. Some married people like one bedroom. Some like two. Is senor like one? No, two, please. The baggage will be right up. Good. Um, have you any preference? Preference? Well, I mean, do you like that room or this one? Oh, only one. Uh. This one. Well, uh, one bedroom, sir, or both? Both, idiot. Right, sir. Those are mine, and mine go in here. Oh, excuse me, sir. No, all those go in there, please. No. There's nothing to cry about, you know. I don't like this any more than you do. Probably less. You act as though I were trying to... Well, if you feel that way about it, why, why did you come in the first place? Because it would be different if you were different. I mean, a girl like you would... A girl like me? Yeah. Why, uh... Listen, a spectacular girl like me never cries. She laughs. I'm sorry. For a moment, I was quite taken in with the moonlight on you and the Venetian sky behind you, the gondolier singing. 
You seemed like an entirely different kind of girl for a moment. Good night. Good night. It occurred to me that for appearance's sake, we'd better... Uh, I uh, see. We... You don't suppose that I would... Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Will uh, Madame have breakfast on the balcony? Why, uh... <laughs> One moment. I will ask Mr. Gray. Darling, do you want to have breakfast on the balcony or in the room? All right. We will have breakfast on the balcony. Yes, Madame. Good morning, Sparks. Good morning, madame. Uh, is uh, Mr. Gray up yet? Yes, madame. And Mrs. Gray? Yes, madame. Uh, I just knocked on their door, and, and they told me to serve... I but... understand. Finally. And you? Deplorably. Your conscience, no doubt. Not at all. Those crooning gondoliers kept me awake. You should have slept in my room. I beg your pardon? I mean, uh, and I in yours. My room is quieter. Let me remind you that the familiarity which is necessary when others are around... Yes? ...is just as unpleasant to me as it is to you. Yes. So when we're alone, let's have none of it. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you. Good morning, madame. Good morning. Good morning, Claire. You sleep well? Yes, I slept beautifully. And you? Why, uh, no, uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't. A lot of the things kept me awake. Oh, really? What are you doing? Breathing. Well, stop it. Sounds immoral. Yeah. Good morning, monsieur. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, well, for heaven's sakes, Claire, what's the matter? You look annoyed at something. Oh, uh, 
Gerald's valet nearly tore my negligee off. He did? I'll teach him to do that. Darling, huh? Huh? he may prefer to do it his own way. Give me a big kiss, darling. Come on. Give a big, big kiss. Huh? Oh. 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 What's the matter? Oh. As if he did not know. Oh, madame, are we kisses? You pardon me if I go a little to my room. But I must lie down. You make me dizzy. Oh. Oh. Claire, you don't really think that so I... So you made it dizzy. In broad daylight. Claire, I swear to you, she means nothing to me because... Well, then prove it. How? Well, send her away. Well, but how can I? I mean, what about Stephen? After what he's just seen, you needn't worry. Send her away. Well, how about it look? After all... Send her away this minute. If she doesn't leave, I will. Oh. Yes? Would you mind coming out here a minute, please? Yes, uh, what I wanted to... If you have come to make me dizzy again, I must refuse. And if you say that once more, I'll strangle you. You know perfectly well I didn't make you dizzy. How do you know you didn't? Oh, well... Well, anyway... I have the honor to inform you that your presence here is no longer desired. Please, will you say that again with half so many words? Yes, you're fired. Suppose I tell you that you hurt me quite a little when you say that. I'm sorry. Can't be helped. Mr. Gerald, I have teased you out there. I've been a little bad. But it's just because I feel too good here in Venice, with the sunshine, the music, and all the beautiful things around. Mr. Gerald, if I promise to be very nice, no. Why? Because I... I want you to go. No, you do not. It's not you. It's that woman. And what she commands you do, like... like a puppy dog. You think I go because she says so? That that grue marié qui veut toujours avoir rien donné. Qu'elle trompe son mari, c'est son affaire. La façon dont elle le fait, c'est dégoûtant. Je dis qu'elle est une grue, c'est pas une grue. C'est cent mille grues, c'est... Cent mille millions de grues. And I shall be put out for this marrying goosey. I refuse to. I stay right here. And if she say no, I tell her husband everything. Everything. <laughs> hey. Oh, Mrs. Gray. I say, Mrs. Gray. Oh, hello. Hello. Where's Mr. Gray? Oh, Gerald. He finds his own amusement. <laughs> I've been looking at the door just far as all afternoon. Oh, really? It's very interesting. Could I interest you in a drink? I'll let you try. Good. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, if I were your husband, I wouldn't let you go wandering about alone. You're much too attractive. <laughs> Do you always go where your wife goes? Well, she's different. 
signorina. They're good French. Si, signorina. Oh, and uh, bring me another one, will you do? Si, signor. Why is she different? Who? The wife? I think she's very attractive. <laughs> so does your husband. What do you mean by that? Oh, now, come. Don't pretend you haven't noticed it, too. Well, I believe I don't want to wear them at all. Oh, no, please, all. please. I, I didn't mean anything wrong, only... Only we'd be blind not to see that your husband and my wife are very interested in each other. Oh, you are jealous. I was, until I saw you. And now I think he's just a fool. But why? Uh, what I mean is... What that... I mean, that's what I mean is... Yes. That being the case, we ought to console each other. Mr. Matterson. Won't you call me Steve? There is nothing to console. And if they're aware... If they're aware, it will be thrilling to be consoled by you. Oh, that is Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Oh. <coughs> uh, I think I'd better go back to the hotel. Perhaps I've gone too far this afternoon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Great girl, your wife. Yes. Sort of personality that uh, holds one. So I've noticed. Speaking of holding, if you must hold her hand, I'd rather suggest that you might choose a less public place. And a very good suggestion. Furthermore, I'd rather you didn't hold her hand at all. In fact, I forbid it. Why? Did you say why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never tell me any funny stories. I was just hoping you'd turn up. Uh, oh, well, waiter, waiter. Look here, we've got to do some serious thinking about how to get rid of Shushu. Get rid of her? What? We? Certainly we. You got me into this. Well, what, what for? Oh, Signore. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Don't rush this. This, uh, this problem is going to be very absorbing. What are you going to absorb? Oh, scotch, I think. Uh, uh, yes, we'll start with that. And bring the bottle. See, si, Signore. and all you can do is to tap bottles. <laughs> My friend. And the first time I saw you, you were a little boy in a sailor suit. And I wish I'd never seen you. I still love you. I wish you loved me. All right. I love you. Nah, that's too casual. Say it better than that. I love you. No, 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 that's not sincere. If you don't say a bit of that, I'll lie right down on this floor. I love you. <laughs> That's my pal. <laughs> oh, Jerry, oh, my old pal. <laughs> oh, Jerry. Jerry. I can swell at you. I can swell at you. Look, since Claire insists that you give Chuchu up, you get rid of her, I'm going to fix it for you. I'm my pal or am I pal? I don't know which. Yeah. Look, tonight, Shushu and I are going gloating in the fondler. You're going what? F bloating, gloating, flo f I'm going to get her under my spell. No, you're not. You know, you don't have to do all that to save me. 
Well, it's not, it's not only saving you. I think maybe I like it. <laughs> I, I won't let you. I say no. But Claire says yes, and you have no right to say no. You have no claim on her, none whatever. Nevertheless, I say no. You're awful doggish in the main Jewish. And if you don't keep away from her, I'm liable to break some of your most important bones. Uh, understand? All right. Seems to think he's the menace of Venice. Good evening. Good evening. Going out? Yes, you object? Object? <laughs> Not at all. Uh... Then would you mind passing me along here? Oh, well, I suppose it's part of the world's work. I don't suppose you'd care to tell me with, with whom you're going out. But of course, if you are interested. Oh, well, I'm not. <laughs> oh, please. All this stuff to make me tickle. I can't. Oh, yeah. What were you doing with Steve all afternoon? He was giving me a lesson in the garden. What kind of a lesson? He was teaching me how to throw the javelin. Uh. Don't you want me to be with Steve? My dear, I haven't the slightest objection. You see, it will leave you free to be with Madame Steve. As a matter of fact, I haven't been with Madame Steve. I haven't seen her the whole afternoon. Excuse me, I'll go and see what that is. I'm ready, Bunny. I won't be a minute. What do you want? Choo -choo. Well, you can't have it, you little bounder. Oh, oh, did you notice that I was bounding? <laughs> well, you're bounding too. The whole room is bounding. Well, you just so bound right out of here and no, stay out. No, no, I have a definite appointment with Choo Choo. I, I'm going to gloat with her in the fondle. Well, you, it isn't her I'm day for gloating, so you just get I out and gloat by you? yourself. A fondle too, if you want it. What have you done with my rabbit? I've put him out. Why? I'm going to gondola with him. No, you're not. Why not? Because he's drunk. Besides, you're not falling in love with that blithering idiot, are you? Don't do that. Don't you like my perfume? No, it's demoralizing. It's called in French, l'amour grisant. That means, in English, intoxicating love. I don't doubt it. What? And furthermore, I have this to say. You are temporarily bearing my name. So I will not have you gadding around Venice with drunken companions. Not even in a gondola? No. But I've never been in a gondola at night. You wouldn't like it. Of course I would. No, you wouldn't. Well, not with Bunny.
I know that song in English. I'll tell you the words. Yes. Through moonlit mystery, your eyes are telling me this is the night I've waited for. This is the night I'll hear the story eternal. Tonight we can't conceal the ecstasy we feel. Though with the dawn, romance will be gone. Tonight is ours. This is the night. This is the night. Let me go. Why should I? Because... You, you don't understand. Yes, I do. Oh, no, let me go. Shoo, shoo. Gerald. Listen just a moment. Hmm. What would you say if I tell you that I'm very respectable? I'm afraid I should laugh. Oh, let me go. If you touch me again, I scream until the whole hotel comes here. You needn't. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I don't blame you. I won't annoy you again. I should never have come in the first place. I should have gone when you asked me to. I'll go in the morning. Where are you going now? Downstairs. Benny's waiting. Let him wait. You go to your room. Listen, you have no right to... Please. I'd rather you did. Tonight I'm responsible for you. Tomorrow you may do as you like. need any luggage. What are you doing here? Shh. I got a ladder outside the window. It's an old Italian custom. But you have no right to be here. Get out. No, 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 no. We're both, we're both going out. We're, we're going out in the gondola, you and I. And we're going to float. Oh, are we going to float? <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta get going. I gotta get a gondola. It's easy. All you gotta do is to go down the ladder and we won't let Jerry hear anything. Come on. Oh, you two, let me go. I'm tired of both of you. All of you. I'm going home. Shh. I'm not spectacular. I don't want to be spectacular. I'm not sure anymore. I'm myself. Oh, uh, come, come, uh, come in, yes. Where is she? Why, she's gone to bed. Where's your husband? Oh, he's dressing for dinner. Oh. When is she leaving? Why, I don't know. Do you know that she had Steve out all afternoon? Yes, she told me, but I don't suppose anything in that. Oh, you, you don't? Well, I do. Huh? Why wouldn't she? He's young, handsome, has money. Mm. And I'm not going to let that girl take him away from me. Oh, well. Well, I'm glad that's settled. What? Oh. Oh, well, you and I were never really serious about each other. <laughs> no, we weren't, really, were we? Mm. Well, I like that. Mm. You haven't even looked at me since that common little creature came into our lives. As a matter of fact, I think you're falling in love with her yourself. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, you are. Well, if I were, which I'm not, it's nothing to you, is it? No. All right, then. 
You may not know it, but you're falling in love with your husband all over again. And what's that to you? Nothing. <laughs> and you can tell him that I took the job only because I was hungry. I leave all the clothes and the imitation jewelry. I only keep enough money to pay my ticket back to Paris. Now, please go, because I have to change my dress, Bunny. All right, I'll tell him. I'm, I'm going down the ladder. Goodbye. Goodbye, Bunny. You've been very nice. Oh, that's all right. What's the matter? What was that noise? Nothing. I didn't hear any noise. I say, are you all right? Oh, I beg your pardon, but there's someone on the balcony. I thought it might be a burglar. Who's in there with you? No one. I'm alone. Oh, shoo, shoo. You shouldn't have said that. Open this door. I'll break it down. Go. Another javelin lesson, I suppose. This is charming. Are you insinuating? Oh, no. But perhaps I'm intruding. I came in because there was a burglar here. A burglar? A burglar? <laughs> oh. Now, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. You're doing your wife a great injustice. She's not my wife. Joe. I'm sorry, Claire, but I'm very tired. I'm very tired of all this deception. Now, let me tell you something. You needn't uh, bother. You didn't fool me for a moment. All right. Hmm. I tried using this young woman to fool you. Well, she fooled me also. Separate rooms, locked doors, all that rot. The doors were always locked. But the windows apparently, were open to anyone at any time. But I assure you, if you think that I came in here... Oh, to... my dear fellow, don't bother. Matter of fact, I owe you an apology, and I do. I apologize abjectly. Now, if you can square yourself with Claire, just let, let it all end quietly without any more noise. Come in, come in. Pardon me, sir. Can you come out a minute? It's very important. Box. It's the police, sir. You've got Mr. West. I told you. Keep it, let's go on and let's go to the corner. Johnny. What's happened? Oh, scusi tanto, signore, scusi, ma ho trovato questo gentiluomo alla porta, il quale voleva salire con me, non si individuo che voleva salire per di lei, non sapete dove portare. I'm very sorry, but I don't understand a word you're saying. Bunny, what is the matter? Well, I I I can't talk. Every time I try, these guys shake the life out of me. Ah, Somebody signore, I'm signore, mille scuse. Ma questo uomo si è trovato... I'm very sorry, but I don't understand any better because you talk faster. Ma insomma, lei era su quella finestra, mi rispondo. Sì, esatto, no, 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 I did not. Oh, no, signore, no, 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 no. Ma risponda. Well, well, maybe I did. I... And another thing, Silenzio. I want... Silenzio! See what you can do. Yes, sir. Monsieur West, at a gentilhan, très, très new. Votre brutality pour vous entraîner dans du gravis complication. Ah, eh? Okay. No speak English. Oh, oh. Uh, Why, Bunny, have you been arrested? Oh, you look terrible. Has he broken a law? Why, Why no, is that? Let's go. No, I. 
Perché ad usare, amico mio? Ah, lei parla italiano! Sì, Senta, allora noi l'abbiamo trovato giù da... Ah, signore! Sì, no, questo uomo italiano! Gli storanti non sapevano che gli avevano chiamato un ladro, naturalmente. Un ladrone! Well, it seems they saw Wes jump from Shoe Shoe's balcony and thought he was a burglar. Ah, ah. E l'amante? E l'amante! Viva l'amore! L'amante? Succhetto! Oh, oh, ma signore. caro signore, ma mi scusi, sa perché non è stata colpa nostra, ma gli assicuro... Signore, che non... abbiamo sbagliato, colpa, colpa nostra, colpa nostra, signore! Scusi, 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 non bebe che fa, ma è meglio andare via perché non c'è altra sì, parte. Andiamo. Scusi, sa, scusi, sa, signore. Signore, eh, scusi, scusi mille scusi. Lock all the doors and bolt the windows. I've had all I can stand of the b b Scusi brothers. I owe you another apology. Steve? Oh, Steve! Trying to break up my home. Give it back to her, idiot. Madame has lost her dress. You. What were you doing on her balcony? Now, please, now, wait. I've been through enough for tonight. Will you answer me or must I throw you back into the canal? All right, I will answer you. Not because I'm afraid, mind you. You can't intimidate an old canal man like me. But the point is, you've got everything all wrong. You've got this girl all wrong. In fact, you've got the wrong girl. Choo Choo is perfectly nice and respectable. And furthermore, Choo Choo isn't Choo Choo at all. What? Can't you hear me, or am I dripping too loud? She took this job in place of another girl because she was hungry. And after the way you treated her tonight, she prefers to starve. Huh? She took only enough money to pay her railroad fare. You... you... you mean she's gone? Yes. Oh, where? Back to Paris. Uh -oh. Shushu! Shushu! I'll follow her in this gondola. Si, signore. Giovanni! Can I get you something, sir? Yes, get me some dry clothes, sir? No, dry champagne. Yes, sir. Presto! I followed you here because I had to see you again and because I want you to come back with me. 
and marry me. Will you do it? Will you? <laughs> <laughs> 